you know, I, I really try not to be political. I try not to get into things, try to let those people handle all that stuff. But, uh, just to be honest, it's, uh, I mean, for all the good things happening right now, it's still, I feel like this is, uh, I guess I should just say it. I, I, I feel ashamed to be an American considering our administration right now. I mean, I haven't said squat about Trump, you know, this entire time live on stream. I've been trying to avoid it, you know, and sure, he's an asshole, you know. A lot of business people I've come to realize at some level are assholes at some level because that's kind of the business world, you know. It's not a, it's not exactly a, a <laughs> you know, the business world is cruel and and hard and all that. It's like the jungle, so, you know, laws of the jungle. I don't even know where to start, but basically we have a president who, who, uh, who tear gassed and took non-lethal riot measures to peaceful protesters to have a photo op in front of a church. This was after he was hiding in a bunker, but then afterwards he came out and said he wasn't hiding in a bunker, he was just inspecting a bunker, the bunker, the, the panic room for the president. And, uh, for president to lie about utilizing his bunker because of his, his pride and his toxic masculinity, I, I think we've reached a new low, basically. That's, that's where we're at. Um, you know, it should be pretty obvious that the Republicans don't give a shit about people. I mean, we've kind of known that for a while. It's, they give a shit about the right people. Uh, Democrats supposedly care about the people, but, you know, if the Democrats really cared about the people, wouldn't they have been doing all this stuff that's happening now, or tried to, you know, <laughs> uh, abolish racism and gain equality and all that? Like, if they really cared about it, wouldn't they have done it a long time ago? <laughs> so, the, the only party that makes any real sense to me, at least looking at their ideals right now, is the Libertarian Party, and I've voted that way. And it felt like I was throwing away a vote. It felt kind of shitty. In a way, you know. It felt good in a way to just cast that vote and say I'm not going to not gonna subscribe to your two-party system. But at the same time, you know, realistically, you know that candidate's never going to win. Because of the two-party system. And, you know, it's... I, I really do hope significant change comes out of this. But at the same time, I mean, it's... Things are being taken to such an extreme, you know. Like, I honestly feel sorry for the one police officer uh, that was on his first shift. <laughs> it, was, it was, as far as I understand, his first shift ever. And he has a superior officer, one that's been on the force for 15 plus years as his training officer. Um, you know, doing something that didn't quite seem right. But is he really meant to completely stop him for what happened? You know, if Derek Chauvin had been acting fucking nuts all shift like he was on PCP and then handcuffs George Floyd throws him to the ground and breaks one of his kneecaps I would fully expect any of those other three officers to stop him but to expect somebody who's been on the force it's his first shift ever I mean I don't know if that's what happened in the end Derek Chauvin was trying to be the big macho cop the, the big masculine cop training these guys and Showing them how to be hard. It's, I, I don't know. Um, but kind of wrapping around to the point of all this, it's, I, I really hope to see fundamental significant change, but, you know, it's tearing down statues doesn't end racism, you know, and it's, there's a lot more to it than that. And, you know, they shouldn't be there to promote racism, but it's history too. You can't just erase history. That's, that's not a good thing, you know? It, it happened, and we need to learn from it. That's the fucking point. So, uh, I don't know. I'm all over the place on this one. Um, if anybody has anything to chime in, feel free. <laughs> I could make an image that I could crop in OBS, but then how do you apply that crop? Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it's considered part of the transform or not be an interesting test. You have an image and crop it by alt dragging the edges and then copy that transform and apply it to something else that isn't even an image. 
would the crops hold up in OBS? It would have been the only way to do it. Yeah, uh, politics, man. It's I've never liked it because it always felt like subscribing to that system at some level is accepting this fucking game that everybody plays. The racism game, the power game, the bullshit corporation games. Like, <laughs> you know, the corporation's not playing, paying taxes types of games. You know, it's... <laughs> this country, uh... A lot of it seems like, to a point, a big part of the country game, uh... I mean, just was playing a game like the drug war. I mean, you know, where did all the drugs come from? Where were all these urban, um, well, not even urban, but predominantly urban black people getting all their cocaine and drugs and everything? Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> yep. You have, a, you have an interesting history, this here country. <laughs> it's an interesting one. We shouldn't erase it. It's it should be there to learn from, like um like the case of Castor. It's an old case from like I don't know 1600, 1700 something. The Castor case actually established two important things in law back then when slavery was happening. The Castor case established that both a slave could be slave for life. That, you know, for as long as you live, you're a slave. But it also established that free black men could be slave owners, because that's what the case was. There was a black slave working for a free black, who then finished the duration of his servitude, and went on to work for someone else. The free black slave owner there <laughs> afterwards found um, his ex-slave and then successfully sued him in court. Successfully sued him to get him back as a slave for life. I mean, how fucked up is that? <laughs> read it, read up on it. It's out there. Caster. You know, it's, that shit is nuts. I mean, Imagine being that slave. Imagine being that guy. I mean, any of them, you know, it's all bad, but... <sighs> it's... You know, we're moving on, but... You shouldn't really whitewash history, you know? I mean... We shouldn't perpetuate this shit, either. I was told that Morgan Freeman, when asked what to do to end racism, <laughs> what we should do to end racism, his answer was basically, stop talking about it. Which, in, in the long term, makes a lot of sense, you know? I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? On stop school? talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. Kids, for the most part, don't even notice skin color and that sort of thing you know it's, it's mostly a, a learned <laughs> uh, deficiency fundamentally so unfortunately I've never I've never subscribed to it I've had plenty of opportunities to be a racist especially where I live trust me <laughs> there are opportunities here um, me and my buddy once once went to a fishing hole or like a swimming hole we weren't fishing um, we were going to like just, it was really hot, uh, you know, we were trudging through the woods. He knew of like a swimming hole that people would occasionally use. As we get within viewing distance of the swimming hole, four or five trucks come out of there, all following each other, obviously. They all kind of come ripping out of there. The guys are hooting and hollering a little bit. One of them throws something at us. It turns out to be a pamphlet for the Ku Klux Klan. And that was when I was a kid, so that was, uh... You could say 25 years ago, I guess. It was probably, well, less than, let's, let's say approximately, no, about 25 years, maybe. So, you know, it's definitely out there, but, you know, everyone makes their choice. It's, but we shouldn't, we shouldn't fuck over the whole system for the bad apples, you know? We shouldn't fuck over the police for the Derek Chauvins, and, 
Oh. Oh. Shut the fuck up. No way. Is this just what Epic's gonna do to try to get me to play Fortnite? <laughs> bitch and er, bitch and sweat. I don't know what the fuck I was gonna say. Bait and switch. <laughs> Samurai Showdown Collection free. Oh come on, no, no.